Last one I want to talk about is electron capture. Uh, in this case, you have um, the process, uh, and it's often abbreviated EC. In this case, you have an um, plus uh, a proton. If you remember, this is one of the allowed pro processes. Um, an electron plus a proton combine together and give you a neutron plus a neutrino. Um, and the way that this happens in actual uh, in the actual nuclei is you actually have an electron somehow get itself into the uh, the actual nucleus, and it combines with one of these protons that are in the nucleus, and those protons the proton combines with the electron and becomes a neutrino. So now you have z minus one, and again a stays the same, uh, and then you just get a, a neutrino out. Okay. Um, again, you can uh, calculate what's uh, what um, the, all the mass is. So this is going to be the mass of an electron plus the mass of the nucleus initial. Um, again, this has to be for for the decay to happen. Uh, this has to be greater than uh, the mass of the final object, uh, and and that's it. That's uh, that's the whole thing for the nucleus. Um, again, uh, what we can do is we can actually add uh, zeal electrons on each side. Uh, actually, uh, add z minus one electrons. Sorry. If we add z minus one electrons, you see that here we already have z minus one. There's another one. So the total is z electrons. So you have z electrons. There's z electrons here. So this is just the mass of the atom initial. All right, that's just the initial mass of the atom. And then this final nucleus also has z minus one, and we have z minus one electrons added on this side. And so this just gives us the mass final. And so for electron capture, um, the condition is uh, that um, that uh, the mass initial must be greater than the mass final. Now you notice that uh, if you, if you've been paying attention, uh, both uh, proton decay and electron capture uh, decrease uh, your um, your z by one. All right, so they actually have the same effect in that they basically turn a proton into a neutron. So if you think before about where we were talking about how you can kind of get a proton turned into a neutron in a lower energy state. Um, you can do either one of these. The only reason you have electron capture ever happening, it turns out electron capture is really hard to have happen uh, because it's really hard for that electron to find its way inside of the nucleus. Uh, but if you notice, the requirement for electron capture is less than the, the one for proton decay. So in other words, if the mass initial of the, uh, of the atom uh, is greater than the mass final, uh, plus two uh, times the mass of an electron, if that condition is met, the thing will always decay through beta plus decay. All right, it'll always decay through proton decay. But if this condition isn't met, but the mass initial is still greater than the mass final, then it will decay by electron capture. It'll just take a little bit longer than it would have if it would have done proton decay. Um, and so that's why you need the electron capture process to happen, why, why it exists. So that's the whole idea behind all of these. Um, I hope that's useful. And... Uh, um, uh, yeah.